Happy New Year! It's January 6th, 2023. That means, despite my best efforts, I made it through last year. Somehow. Um, and it's time to start a new story for this year's vlog. Um, you know, like, I feel like last year had a theme. And that theme was survival. Um, and I didn't know if I was going to make it all year. I didn't know if I was going to make it, but I did. Um, with, not alone, by any means. I did not make it by myself. I made it because I have a tremendous friend group. Um, yeah, a friends group that I will never take for granted. Um, but yeah, I mean, last year was pretty epic. If you think about where I started, just uh, trying to get everything, trying to get back on my feet and, you know, get a, a steady job and just crap kept happening. I lost my house. I mean, uh, like, I thought, you know, there could be a sad ending or a happy ending to my 22, 22, ugh, to my 2022 vlog. And uh, I thought, you know, the sad ending was just unfathomable. Like, I was just going to give up and go away and live in my car and drive lift and walk the earth. That, <laughs> that was my actual plan. Um... And if it was a good year, everything was going to be great, so obviously I'd get a cool tattoo and a dog um, by the end of the year. And, um, you know, neither of those things turned out to be the way that that year ended for me. But I will say it did have a happy ending, an unexpected ending. I, You know, and it's a continuing serial, my life. It's not like it ends because... I got through 2022, so I made it, I'm here, and I'm on my feet, the ground is relatively steady compared to how it has been over the past decade, <laughs> um, yeah, it was a rough 10 years, and, um, and I'm still standing, and I'm very happy about that, I can't lie, I'm very impressed with myself for that. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, it was hard. If you watched my vlog last year, you know. You know everything that I kept getting hit with. You know how hard it was for me. Um, and I feel like my vlog really got to be what I always wanted it to be last year. Um, you know, like, it it told a story, and that's the kind of vlog that I like to watch. I don't like watching vlogs when it's just somebody, um, just videoing their boring day every day, like, I mean, there's value in those things, it's like keeping a journal, and, um, it's just creatively not what I wanted to do with my vlog. I wanted to find a narrative, and I did. I think I found the core narrative. I was never quite sure what it was, but if you look at that vlog, it does tell the story of my survival in 2022 and just overcoming all of the adversity. <laughs> so, um, if last year's theme was surviving, then this year's theme is going to be thriving. And sure, I didn't get a tattoo and a dog at the end of last year, but the great thing about goals is that they keep you moving forward. You know, if you don't make it by the date you tried to shoot for it, you still got, you know, it's like you don't make it to, the, to Mars, you make it to the moon, you still got off the planet. You still made a tremendous journey. You've still made a lot of progress. It's nothing to dismiss. Um, so, 
I was shooting from Mars, I got to the moon. Now I'm on the moon, I'm still shooting from Mars. You know, I saw... I can't remember who it was, I should look it up. Um, there was a YouTube video I saw where someone was talking about instead of New Year's resolutions to have a theme for the year and just kind of um, work towards an outcome rather than just, you know, New Year's resolution, I'm going to work out, I'm going to stop drinking. I don't, I don't drink. I, I don't know. I, I don't ever make New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Not real ones. I'll make joke resolutions, but, you know, as someone who doesn't make New Year's resolutions, I really like the idea of a theme for the year, because that's, that's what I did last year in my vlog. I found a theme in my life, and that's kind of how I chose what I vlogged about. So this year's theme, thriving. This year I will thrive. I will, you know, I got on my feet last year. I got up. I, I moved forward. I got through all of the terrible things. And now this year I'm going to stay on my feet. And I'm going to get where I want to go. You know, like my writing got knocked off track a number of times over the past several, several, several years. Um, I haven't really been able to make that my main focus. Like, I didn't publish one thing when it comes to writing last year. Not even the paperback of the hardback that came out two years ago now. My latest novel. Um, so that paperback will come out this year. Um, as will a lot of things. I'm going to make that my... One of my top priorities, going along with the theme of thriving, what I want to do with my life is not have to do anything but write if I don't want to, as far as making money is concerned. And my writing career was going great ten years ago. Um... You know, I was flying to L.A. to meet with movie people. I had a director in England contact me about one of my short stories. Like, you know, I was in the game, so to speak. There was a big publisher in Dallas that was looking at my website and they said that. And like, oh, he's in the game. And I remember just really liking that. that <laughs> someone said that about me. Someone, someone whose voice matters in the business. Um, and that was shortly before there was a little bit of interest in metronomes from Hollywood. There was a little bit of interest in some short stories. There's been some interest from other publishers in the Legends of Nod. Um, it's just, you know, my life got so derailed that I couldn't follow any of those paths with any real determination. So this year, that's the goal. Get my sales back up, start publishing all of the things, all of the finished manuscripts that have been through editing and are just waiting to be published. I'm going to get them out this year. At least most of them. There's a lot. And I'm, I've am i started writing again. I'm working on a novel that I may never finish because there's no outline and I have to be in a particular state of mind to work on it. And it's called I Wrote This Novel When I Was Insane. Um, it's been a journey. <laughs> it's been very uh, therapeutic for me. Um, it's helped me when I genuinely go insane over the things that I've been going through. If I have that tiny little clarity of mind to do so, I open up that manuscript and I just start writing. And, um, the great thing about it is that, like, normally my process is that I, um, 
I will read over what I read, what I wrote the day before. And then it's kind of like I get back in the rhythm and I tweak it a little, I edit a little as I go. And then when I get to the end of what I wrote the day before, I'm in the zone and I just continue. I write forward. But with, um, with this manuscript, this crazy, literally crazy book, like, you know, I don't even know if it's good, but it is art. It is expression. And I don't think you can say that art is good or bad. Um, I don't know if it is what a critic might consider a well-written novel. Because it's so outside of the box. But what's different about my process is I don't read what I wrote before until after I write on that day. Like, like if I'm crazy and I sit down and open up I wrote this novel when I was insane and write another chapter or four, <laughs> depending. Um, it's like I binge write this novel. I fast and I binge. But, yeah, I don't look at what I wrote before. I just start writing. No notes, just start writing. But what's really cool is that after I write for the day, then I will go back and read stuff, and it may have been weeks or months since I even looked at this manuscript, and I don't really remember the details of what I wrote the last time I sat down to work on it, but whatever I wrote that day perfectly matches. It's almost like what I wrote before, well it is, like what I wrote before was foreshadowing what I wrote that day, but I didn't even remember it. So these characters are very consistent. There are only two characters in the book so far, maybe three. <laughs> I mean, it depends. One of them, I don't know if that one counts as a character or not. I can't really... I don't know what to say about that book. I hope I finish it because it would be fun to publish it. Just as what it is. An expression of my state of mind when I was at my lowest, you know? Um, it's cool. And I'm working on a... I mean, what's really great is that I'm also writing something that's... Um, it feels more coherent, which is a short story that's been in my head for over 20 years um, called Metronome's Deathmatch. And it takes place between worse than a gremlin and the shaman's apprentice on the metronomes timeline because it was planned like i was going to do three short stories to kind of dip my toes into the world before i wrote the novel that kind of explored three different aspects of that world and the third one was about the villain fenrir and things finally clicked like that story just never came together for me back when I wrote the first two short stories. Um, so I just went ahead and wrote the novel, and I got to know Fenrir in the novel, but I haven't worked with him since, and it's really cool because he's still got his edge. He's still Fenrir. I love it that I can walk away from a character for over a decade and... I come back and it's like no time has passed. You know, my characters are like really good friends. Or family. That you just... You can go 20 years and not see them. And then you get together and it's like... A day has passed. You just fall right back into your... Old rhythms. Um... So yeah, I'm working on more new stuff. I've got a ton of stuff that has just been sitting on the shelf. And I said this in my vlog last year because I didn't know what was going to hit me last year when I was trying to get things moving again. Um, I didn't know I was going to lose my house. I didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen this year either. But I feel like I've overcome so much that I'm pretty much poised to rise this year. So, 
we're going to move that goal of a tattoo and a dog to the end of this year. Um, sooner if it makes sense. We're just going to see where I'm at at various points through the year. But that's my, that is my goal. That is my theme for the year is to thrive, to get my writing going, to stay on top of this uh, YouTube channel, to keep my podcast going with Matt that's going really well. Um, you to keep this uh, roommate thing going that's going really well. And we're going to add a third roommate this year as well, which is an X factor. Like, I don't know what the new dynamic is going to be, but it's exciting. It's everything is exciting right now this year. Like, I'm just, I'm excited about wherever all of this is going at this point now that now that the ground has stopped shaking so much um, I'm ready to figure myself out you know figure out who I am now and who I'm going to be and get my writing career back to kind of where it was in 2013 and take it further like I got so derailed in 2013, like, like I was, I mean, that's an epic story I haven't told, like, how I stopped working as a youth minister 10 years ago, when I loved it so much, and almost all, if not all, of my closest friends right now were people I worked with in that job. Kids who are pushing 30 now. <laughs> Some of them have crossed the line. They've passed 30. And they're my best friends now. They're my family. Um, you know, that job was great, but you know, when I, w I talked about going to... Uh, I went to LA to meet with Hollywood people. I had several, several sit-down meetings with several different people about metronomes. The novel Metronomes the Shaman's Apprentice. And you know, it didn't go anywhere ultimately. Um, but the experience was really good. Like, I learned a lot about that end of the business on that trip. And, um, but you know, as I was doing that, I knew that job was coming to an end. Um, you know, I'd already turned in my resignation letter, <laughs> like, and then I get on a plane, and I'm heartbroken, and I'm going into all of these pitch meetings, and, oh my gosh, just such an epic moment in my life, just such a crazy moment in my life, where it's just so hot and so cold at the same time, just simultaneously, um, but yeah, it was, if the world hadn't been at the very beginning of falling apart for a decade, where just things were going to keep collapsing every time I took a step, the ground was going to crumble for about a decade. You know, if that hadn't happened, if I had just been able to follow through with all of the opportunities that were coming to me in my writing career... I don't know where I'd be right now. I mean, like it's hard to get a film adaptation made of your of your writing, even if you're much more well known than I am. Um, I'm a little microscopic indie guy, so that anyone has noticed me um, is tremendous. It's fantastic. It just it's such a compliment to my work, and I have major imposter syndrome, I think I'm a hack, and that, uh, you know, I can't write, but I do it anyway, but, so it's always nice to get that kind of affirmation that people whose opinions matter in the industry do think I'm a good writer, a good storyteller, and it's inspirational to me. It encourages me. I, it doesn't change my, um, 
you know, I'm still a humble bumble. I still think I'm a hack. <laughs> but, but it's nice to know that there are people who disagree with me. And that, you know, for an indie writer, I'm pretty widely read. And, um, I guess there's got to be a reason for it. There's got to be a reason that people read my stuff. And I'm really grateful that people read my stuff. Um, like my last book, see again, like I was getting back on my feet, 2021. Uh, the Legends of Nod book 5 came out and it did really well uh, that summer. And then everything started falling apart again. So, <laughs> culminating with me losing my house. If you watch the last three videos where Matt and I told the story of, uh, the last three vlogs where Matt and I told the story of all of that, just basically how we survived the summer, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, we're, we're settled now in the new place. Um, I mean, the boxes say otherwise, but, I mean, there's still a little we've got to do, but we're more or less settled, um, everything's going well, and so I feel like I'm in a much better place than I was a year ago. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's more to say, there's more nuance to everything I'm talking about, but, you know, it'll come up as it comes up, and I'm going to try to do more vlogs this year than I did, than I've ever done in a year. Like, I'm pushing myself. I'm pushing myself creatively in every direction. Is, you know, YouTube, podcasts, that's all I did last year and it kept me going creatively. But I'm bringing back my writing this year and getting really into that. Like, all of my characters are just speaking to me non-stop. I have so many stories to tell and I have so much energy to tell them with. So look forward to that. Um, I've got I've got so many things that I've been waiting years to get in y'all's hands and let y'all read. Um, and I cannot wait to get these things out into the world. It's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year. I'm going to thrive. So buckle up. Because here we go again. It's another year, another story that I don't know exactly how it ends. 2023. But we're going to find out together if you care to follow me along in this vlog. And if you haven't already, it really helps me if you subscribe. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you want to follow my story subscribe for sure because I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogging this year as I as I do everything else. I think it's going to keep me vlogging keeps me accountable to someone, you know? Like I can't just give up because I'm making my um biography public in real time. So it encourages me not to give up. It encourages me to push as much as I want to push. And I think I'm strong enough to push myself the way that I want to this year. So that's pretty much it. That's the first vlog of 2023. Um, and there will be many more to come. So I hope, I hope you will join me on yet another journey through yet another year. And we can find out together where this is going. So until next time, take care of yourselves and do good things.